Once upon a time. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. There was a girl. And she rode upon the back of a great fox. But they were lost. They had always been lost. Until a path appeared. And so she followed. Was the path leading her? Or was she leading it? She didn't know. It was just there. All of a sudden, she knew where she was. She was home. The woods had sheltered her as a child. The path was blocked before her. The path stretched deeper into the forest. She remembered animals frolicking in the glades. She remembered planting flowers. Welcome to Creos Gaming. I am starting something new. This is Epistory. It is a typing adventure game, and I'm going to be playing it uh, because I started playing it and I found the the plot to be kind of interesting. I only got a little ways into it, so I was she not. She felt paying. the woods begin to wake up around her. A lot of attention to or I only got a little ways in and found the story to be somewhat interesting. There are two stories that appear to be going on, and because of that, I thought it would be a good candidate for this. Now, because it is a typing game, and typing is uh, using a similar faculty... Who? Where? Why? What? To speaking, I'm not going to be doing a lot of uh, commentary. I may do a little here and there. But, um, she dared not try to cross the fragile flows. For now, it's basically just going to be walking around, typing, and uh, completing tasks. So, uh, hope you enjoy. If you have the opportunity to check out Epistory, she remembered I discovering precious stones. Do think relative. She remembered exploring the twisted paths that it is a decent typing game to train in typing. And with that, just because there are continual or regular responses or statements that come from the game, I'm gonna shut up and just get to playing. So, hope you enjoy. I am not a writer. This is not my muse. she remembered, the stronger she felt. Dangers awaited beyond the forest. She had to be strong before she could leave. Burn the brambles before. 
before she could pass through them. She remembered finding magical things in the undergrowth. Sensing a terrible wrongness, she looked up. And fire fell from the sky. Had a star died? Had the moon fallen? She didn't know. But she wasn't home anymore. Chitinous chattering creatures began to appear. Insectile things which sought to hurt her. With their scything claws. And gnashing moths. kicks up like that, trying to hear the, whoops, that was the wrong button, trying to hear the narrator doesn't work well. So there's not a lot of exploration, most of, it's linear with the ability to go off and do things to the side, roughly speaking. Combat is, as you saw, typing to deal damage to things with the words that you type. And most of the words are related to the thing that you are trying to interact with. So wood here, you've got teak, begonia is a flower. So She headed plant. towards the source of fire, because if she didn't, who would? and you gain experience for each thing that you type to. some hidden items, and when you get to the levels proper, those hidden items are, um, what do you call it? Oh, they reveal images. It's interesting that in this main one they have not been doing that. And then the brambles, I don't know the language yet. So this was where the meteor had struck. Learn it. The path ended here. And end. Or. Oh, that was going to say, or did it. She found herself alone, lost in darkness. Fire roared behind her. The meteorite had buried itself deep. Wicked things crept from its dark core.
Briar and Bramble blocked her path. Ancient paintings covered the walls. Telling the story of another world. another life. closed in around her, suffocating. They came from the darkness, like fear manifest. Ooh. Something across the lava, a power which the meteor could not destroy. Something new flowed through her veins. It burned away the loneliness inside. Revealed new paths all around her. and it reveals images. began to crumble before her.
Nothing could stand in her way now. Also a map where you can see paths. So that one's there, so I have to come up and around to get back down here where there's stuff that I didn't do yet. Okay, that's what I wanted to look at. began to look familiar to her. These you have to get done within a certain time of one another, they don't count. They broke new ground together. time to go check out the terms, since I'm pretty sure everything is a real word. Um, it would also apparently build your vocabulary. Now, I say everything is a real world word. There are some things where it's just random gibberish that they want you to type, but objects I'm pretty sure titled appropriately. Rambles somewhere.
The cavern opened up before her, like a cathedral. Even here, there were precious things, just waiting to be discovered. So, there is the memory from the Burning Hollow. There stood the meteor's heart. And that says, remember that the next word will burn. Try to set insects on fire as soon as possible to give them time to burn. This is strategic. braced herself for the final onslaught. Before long, the fires calmed. A stillness descended, and her heart danced a new beat. So you don't have hit points. If any enemy touches you, it kills you. Um, but that is the first level of Epistory. I will end it with that and move on to the second level afterwards in another video. So, hope you're finding this interesting. She emerged once more into the light. Though the ground would be forever marked, green shoots of new life surrounded her. And if you are, um, cool. Thanks all. Hello all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.